So we're back in the kingdom of uh, Leon. Sadly, we've uh, lost some of the uh, footage from the early part of King Garcia's reign. Essentially, we did a few, I think two or three short wars, where we slowly took over the southern duchies of the Muslims. <clears throat> Due to our large size of our combined three kingdoms now of Aragon, Leon, and Galicia, it was relatively easy to steamroll each of them, especially since, as you can see, the Muslim countries are currently undergoing sort of a civil war where they all split up, so they didn't assist very much. And in fact, it, as it turned out, these are actually now some sort of uh, heretical faction of uh, Muslims. They're yeah, Yazindi or something, who knows. But essentially, uh, they are going to be helped by their allies, which allowed us to slowly uh, drive them back. And we're almost there. Unfortunately, the Muslims have now launched a... Uh, a jihad to recover their kingdom of Andalusia, which we're going to have to fight off with our available military strength. We're going to start off by hiring uh, some holy orders to assist us. And those holy orders are going to take point for us, I think, and invade their actual territory. Now these guys might help, so what, what we're going to do is we're going to send uh, a few thousand men into each of their provinces, I think, if we can bust them. Maybe there's some already going there. And the rest of them will gather at the Straits of Gibraltar, which we captured very recently. And we'll try and hold it off. We didn't miss that much actual action. The wars were pretty uneventful. We just charged in, overwhelmed them, sieged all the places. It took years and years, but uh, not much actually happened. And then there was loads of having to redistribute all the territories, because after a holy war, obviously you get every single title in those realms. Our democy size has been perpetually over the limit as well due to sim similar reasons. But now I think we'll have it under control. I think I'll just uh, turn the music down a little. There we go. Oh dear. So I also made alliances with France and the Byzantines, and a few uh, duchies. And here France looks like they're going to help us in this uh, critical situation. If we park our men here, I think they might not go to war with us. Uh, well, we lost that alliance with the Byzantines. Now, because it all took so long uh, and wasn't very exciting, I decided I wasn't going to re-record all the lost footage, which I lost due to fraps. Duke Craig is my, uh, my, uh... Oh. I'm suffering a lot of rebellions recently, and I, to be honest, have absolutely no idea why. Uh, that's not free. We had to imprison a few counts for bells, but nothing significant. Uh oh. And the rebels seem relatively good recently, or else my generals have got a lot worse. Our King Garcia has become a proficient commander. That looks like they have joined the war, so now we're sieging them. It's okay, it should mean the war ends faster. Uh, I think uh, I want to keep the bastard in the family. Oh, we've improved our diplomacy, that's good. So our king's stats haven't been great, to be honest. So he's working his way up in terms of talent. We managed to build a university. We managed to make quite a lot of money, I guess. And I think we're pretty close to completing our objective of freeing Spain from the uh, infidels. I sort of wanted to form Hispania, but uh, if you look at the title, um, to create it, I need 80% which I think would require me to at least conquer a couple of our Christian allies' uh, territory, which I'm not entirely inclined to do. Another victory for us. 
We have quite a large army due to the number of kingdoms we have and the fact that they're relatively wealthy. I sort of need to become emperor to permanently secure our, our empire, as it were. But, uh, can be helped. Oh, so the Pope's offering to join the war. Um, we had a slight issue um, in that uh, we lost this province, as you recall, but we managed to get it back just by paying the guy some money and offering him vassalization, and he accepted. Which was uh, a pretty handy break for us. The advantage of forming an empire would be that I wouldn't have to keep all the duchies because only the kings would be able to vote, I think. I think that's right. Should we just check? Elective, 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 elective. Oh, the Dukes can still vote, so I guess it would still be a bit of an issue. This guy's army is draining away. I don't know why he's defending all the way back up there. Who knows? But I think we've won this war. They're just not united enough to overcome us. Oh, they've launched some other... two simultaneous jihads. Maybe that's by the other kind of Muslims, let's see. Maybe it's the Shia who are doing that. The Sunni are doing it against us, that makes sense. That's fine though. So yeah, we've got everything under control, I think. This might be the king who finally unites uh, Spain, barring a catastrophe. So our strength is pretty good, as you can see with the ease of which we've taken the south. Just in half this guy's reign we finished off a large part of Muslim territory. But uh, obviously things go on quite fast, I mean a few errors or a few uh, unlucky events and the kingdom could fragment quite easily, especially under elective. Where there's no guarantee it will be inherited within my, uh, my family group. The most of the powerful people in the in the kingdom are members of the family. Elective also means that I was able to vote for basically who would the guy who would be my rival, which is what I did. And then he died, and his son is now uh, the guy I'm going for. I'll bribe this guy to leave us alone. <clears throat> Some Muslims have come to help their uh, their compatriots. Okay. Quite a few actually. I think we've still got it covered though. We've got tens of thousands of men from France. And we are gradually winning. We could probably speed it up, launch some attacks. <laughs> They're wiping out some rebels for me, that's convenient. Rebels have been a thorn in my side recently. Give the king heavy infantry leader abilities. Well, it looks like it might be a bit risky. But it looks like he's piecing out now anyway. Success for us. We can disband those troops, call these guys back. Not bad, now we can uh, launch our attempt to reclaim uh, the rest of Spain. Oh. Is that another? Oh, it's a dead chance this time. That's okay. So, I think we can now attack this guy because he declared war on us. Oh no. We have to wait. I swear this guy just fought a war against us, but never mind. Guess you have to wait. More rebels. Let's get you, Craig, to handle it. <coughs> Show us that he has the medal. Well, 
looks like maybe he doesn't have the medal. Good thing we sent more men. Slowly converting uh, the population back. I don't know why Craig refuses to just vote for himself to be uh, emperor. It's a bit irritating of him. Another revolt. Revolt basically every day. We have some powerful vassals now. I think Duke Craig is our most powerful vassal though. We finally inherited the, the uh, Duchy of, uh, of Galicia. Which was nice. Uh, it seems like Duke Craig might not be a very good general. Something to bear in mind. Right, looks like we managed to prevail just, just about. We're making good income now. 18 a turn is pretty high. Maybe it's about time we built a new holding. We'll build a new city in Leon. Now that's a prestige project. I fully intend to conquer this, this guy's territory. I lose diplomacy there if I declare war and tons of prestige. At least had the diplomacy to reject demands now. It's just a matter of waiting for the opportunity to tr finish off these guys. We could offer him vassalization maybe. But he won't accept because of our false religion. Oh dear. Muslim successfully captured Azerbaijan, wherever that is. More diseases. We're doing quite well. I mean, uh, Spain uh, wasn't actually re finished reconquered until 1492. And we're, we already made it all the way down through Granada and only have the bottom of uh, Portugal, I think, uh, left free. Yeah, I quite like to form the the empire of Hispania. I think I need those three and two or three of these. So I guess you guys can let me know if uh, you think I need to continue. Should we marry her off to someone, uh, someone nice? She's old enough to get married now, I think that's a slight uh, fly in the ointment. Designated heir of Zayani. That sounds bizarre. But let's go with that. Oh, he's joined us, apparently. He's heir to the Duchy of Salerno, apparently. Which isn't bad. So things are just continuing on. What what empires are these? Arabian Empire. It's all of that. Persian Empire is that. Russia, Scandinavia, Britannia. You very rarely see these guys. Sometimes, I think, I've, I, think I might have seen Russia once. Never seen Arabian Empire or Hispania. The HRE starts at the beginning. I've seen it fragment down to almost nothing before. I think the emperor became a uh, became a heretic, and I just launched a series of crusades from the from Britain, just seizing up all of Italy and then gradually all of Germany. It was crazy. Oh, right, what's this? Guess just Venetians causing trouble. We're doing quite well. Might even get another great leader, this guy. If he finishes his uh, campaign, manages to conquer Spain. Quite close to being able to get some of these guys. How much we got? We got plus six and minus 
eight. You need to like us a lot more in order to join us, it seems. They want to marry Arrigo Dandolo and Elulia Herman de Gildoes. Such a noble over they offer a bribe price of four four two. That sounds pretty good. It's pretty cool. Never seen that before, must be part of the Merchant Republic. Looking for anyone I could uh, perhaps vassalize. These are both kings, so they definitely won't join us. It's basically just this guy who I could attempt to, to vassalize. Oh well. Back to full speed, I guess. I could launch a crusade for Mercia or Mallorca. Who is it who has the claim on this place? This guy must have allies though. No one too powerful. Do I not have a de jure claim on all of, of uh, Barcelona? There used to be a press all claims uh, option, I think, but I can't see it. It's like I can only declare for them one at a time or something. Oh. Apparently I've lost my depressed trait, which is good. See, I don't think we have a de jure claim on Castile or anything like that. Give Mayor Sancho a chance. Another sum for us. And a new spy master. Not very good. What territories do we have which aren't that good? Andajar should be good eventually. Zaragoza, I think, isn't that good. Should we give Zaragoza to someone decent? We better do it. Look at that. Maybe we should find someone who is a good spy. The Marshal of La Mancha, though he is chased. I think we need men, not rulers. No one that talented as a spy master, so I guess we just want some good stewardship because they should make us more money in theory. This guy's heir to the county of Cuenca. Yeah, to Tarragona. This guy's 36. He seems alright. There we go. Should lighten our, our load a little. Tonic Order has been founded. It's quite cool. Oh, we built that city. Cool, which means we can now appoint someone to be head of that city, and let's go for this marshal. That should mean we can now hire him as spy master. Yep. But you can't appoint non uh, non rulers. I guess then you'd keep a, a stock of non-rulers to draw upon for your talent, just so you never had any rivals. Oh, Navarro owns part of uh, part of Brittany. Can I uh, conquer this place? 
11, no, four more years before I can deal with that. So maybe it's time for... So I just made this guy like me, but I guess there was no point because I'm going to have to make my de jure claims. I have a de jure claim on Barcelona. Can I not just press all my de jure claims on this guy? Hopefully he hasn't got any powerful allies. I don't know if any of our allies are likely to help us. If we ask them, I guess they won't help the other guy, perhaps, for lucky. Could get uh, Mercia just right now, I guess. It's got quite a big army. Most of the people are not willing to help us. Do you gather up troops? So war against the other Christian rulers isn't ideal, but uh, a bit more strength. And because Barcelona is de jure part of Aragon, to be fair. Trying to stay away from that main army. Okay, can probably afford to face it now. Start sieging Barcelona if we can. Try and meet their main army in battle. Oh, it got away. Damn. Now that is a bit of an issue. Looks like uh, our air might be in a bit of trouble here. Spot or bother? Yeah, we've been delayed by that other force and we might not get there in time. Oh, we have. It's okay then. Enough men, I think, to capture Mercia. So it's usually I'm just mopping up some of their armies. It's pretty much how we fought our other wars against other duchies. get this person educated. Pause. It can be tricky to select people if, when time's flying by. Duke Craig will like him more this way. We should like each other more. Should be able to win this war, and then we should have a chance of conquering uh, these guys over here. That's the plan, anyway. Cool. This guy could probably stand down. Nice small Italian band. There seems to be a bit of civil war going on here, unfortunately. Just keeping them busy. I think we still have a truce with this guy. Where is he? Maybe we don't have a truce anymore. How bizarre.
Got some plots, nothing interesting. We got the Duke of Barcelona on the run here. I, I did offer him vassalization instead of war. Could have become a part of our glorious empire, but he chose to fight. Everything seems pretty peaceful. It's building up this army. We always have to keep an eye on them. Maybe when one of these falls, we'll fall back in case he uh, attempts to relieve this place. I don't think I can march him without going by sea, unfortunately, so maybe I should stand him down. I should probably just push for the win. This guy wants to fabricate claims to, to the Duchy of Aragon. Wow, this guy is cocky. Oh no, it's this guy. <laughs> Still quite cocky for a count. Okay, I think he'll offer us. We'll have peace now. I think his father just died, and uh, he didn't want to fight on. Just pulling everything back. So we can disband it in our territory. Cool. I guess our next aim is to capture this place. Apparently he's not in independent. He's under the Abbeed Emirate. It's a bit confusing. They look like uh, separate territories. Where is the Abbeed? Is he part of Abbeed? I don't quite understand. Where is where is your ruler's territory? We're going to declare war on him. Oh. Well, we're going to declare war on him anyway. For the Algarve, I guess. We'll command one half of the kingdom at each of their positions, I guess. I think it's starting to become the case that the east has more men than the uh, than the west. The west still has more for now. I think it's going to shift in the other direction. I suppose we could just start expanding. Maybe we need to expand our castle. We need more soldiers. Oh, we can improve the Dijon. Yeah, we've got them under pressure. We could divert a few men, I guess. Deal with this rebellion down here. Oh, they have suddenly gained this territory back. How confusing. Is this not part of the Algarve? Ah, oh, it's always a problem. Oh, this guy's in a bit of trouble. But more men are coming. I guess after that army's done, we can push on into this place. Oh, 
goodness sake. Craig, vote for yourself. Why, why don't you want to be king? Disturbing behaviour. Oh, we lost a battle. It's not good. I guess poor leadership is probably to blame, yeah. Well, <laughs> they legged it onto a boat just before we arrived. It's okay, we should win this. I wanted the whole of the Algarve, but just that one place will do. It might be up to our next king to actually to reclaim uh, Spain at this rate. We've got allies with the King of Bohemia, apparently. Pretty cool. And Duke Hugh the Confessor. Some of these titles. <laughs> a local dignitary is visiting together with his pretty young wife. She wears a shining necklace, apparently some kind of priceless family heirloom. While he prattles on, your mind begins to wander. Suppose the ball was to disappear. This could prove an excellent opportunity to better your skill at intrigue. Stage the theft of the necklace. As night falls, you sneak into the guesthouse and carefully move the heirloom from the neck of a dear to his sleeping wife. She stirs slightly in her sleep but does not wake. Now that you have a necklace, a worthless G jaw, you need to decide where to plant it. Who shall take the blame? We'll give it Magda, the cook's wife. You stealthily place the necklace in the kitchen. You stealth Perhaps the woman will think it's a gift from her husband or a particularly generous pixie. With your work done, you retire for the night to see what will happen. A loud wailing comes to the guest room and informs you that a little theft has been discovered. The dinner and his wife are both inconsolable and their grief for the missing necklace knows no bounds. Before they leave, you offer them a meal in the dining room. Soup is served by the cook's wife. The cook's wife serves the soup while the dinner describes in detail the necklace passed from generation to generation in his family. Suddenly his wife emits a shrill cry and points at the massive wrist of the cook's wife. She is wearing the missing necklace as a bracelet. Guard sees her. Your scheme is complete. All's well that ends well. Seems like most of these armies don't have leaders automatically, which is a bit irritating. is how I often forget to, to give them one. Upgrading my, my favourite territories, of course. Ah, oh, another bishop's died. These old bishops, they just like, they drop dead every second. Eating away slowly into this territory. So, this is a good example of what you missed, really. We just uh, waged a few small wars to take these places. Didn't face. Oh my god. How you said that? That is one massive army. Which we might well lose to. Just getting our, getting our best generals in place. Got a few more troops ready now. I've sent them all there. Don't think they're going to get there in time, though. This might go badly. Which way is this army going? 10th of September. They're not going to make it out in time. We have to go for all our sieges now. A bit irritating. Oh, what? I thought it was going the other way. Oh my god. We are defending, so we have a slight edge. This is a tight battle. Not that tight, to be fair. Did end in an overwhelming victory for us. I was calling these reinforcements. Continue these sieges. Whew. 
Ooh. I think calling those generals probably made a big difference. Another peasant revolt. There's just no end to these. Oh dear. Didn't realize their main army had gone there. Gonna have to run it down. Ugh. Sometimes holy wars don't work out, I guess. Maybe these guys converted back to the Muslim faith. Yeah, I think they have. Yeah, okay. Well, that's why we're having some problems again. I didn't expect that large army to come to help them. Delaying our uh, pursuit. We might need to hire some mercenaries to finish it off. Finish off the job. God, this army just will not die. And it looks like they're getting away as well. Right, well, we're going to work for now. Time to hire a mercenary force. We'll hire the uh, the Breton band. Get it to deal with these guys and then deal with the uh, Muslims next. Sorry about that, we had a, a sudden crash to a desktop event where data protection uh, on Windows decided to close the game. Which is pretty bizarre. But anyway, we have to redo a few of our actions, I think. We captured Emir Fife. That's good, I guess. Who do we hire? Was it the Breton Company? Oh, we hired them. We'll them to deal with that uh, situation down there. We'll grab these guys and order them to head back down there. Cool. It's okay, it's a bit irritating. But uh, not much we can do about it. with all these guys at the moment. The Almoravids seem to have reformed. Perhaps that'll be enough to save uh, save Spain for the Muslims. I was getting overconfident, obviously. Well, they are backed by the Sultan. I captured some uh, Emir, though. I assume I can sell him back for some extortion, some of money. One hundred forty-five gold. Enough to keep my merts going for a while. Wipe up these uh, Muslim armies which are hanging around. Our war score should be uh, a lot better, you'd have thought. Maybe it's because they still control the Algarve, I think it is. Oh, I need to chase this guy down. Then we'll cross the Straits of Gibraltar, I think. You can stand on either, it's a bit irritating. Oh well. So despite the size of their territory, I don't think they have that many guys. Oh. We have to hold position here, hope for defensive advantage. We did have to charge across the sea to attack us, but then we are just mercenaries, so our morale's probably lower. Oh, we've done it. We captured a Wali, whatever that is. I think as the, as the mercenary force gets smaller, it does cost less. Which is Too many events here, slowing us down. I'm 
making some progress. All good for a piety as well, I think. It's holy wars. We'll hold our position here for now. Well, they're going through these dukes quite fast. No, this guy absolutely hates us. Let's see what this plot is. Nothing too serious. Ransom back to this Baron. Baron equivalent. You're it, you're it, you're it. Prince of Aragon. Traitor. So yeah, I think we've won it. Just about done enough now. To see this out. Annoying about that crash to desktop, but no harm done. Slowly edging our way towards victory. What do we get in return for winning? Crown Menos has to deal with assassination attempts. Who's the person I'm imprisoning? I don't know what, what that really does, granting him a claim. Does that mean they can fight each other? Survival of the fittest in our kingdom? Oh, this guy needs educating. Maybe we'll give him to one of our dukes. Our wow, Duke Rufus is uh, falling out with us quite badly it seems, even though we gave him so much stuff. Bribe him to keep him on side. They don't seem to be pushing through too much. Is our king gonna last though? He's getting quite old. 55 years. He might tire before the end of this holy war. seem to be daring to try and cross the river anymore. Or well, the river, the Mediterranean Sea. Wow, the river. It's like the pond, you know, between the America and the UK. Oh, another rebellion. The rebellions are getting frustratingly frequent and higher number. I must be doing something wrong. Could be my democy size. Or it could be... Uh, Maybe I'm unpopular, I'm not sure. Whatever it is, I'm doing something wrong. Ah, oh, looks like we've won the war at least. Ah, oh, they're down to one province, we're almost there. Pharaoh and Silvers, we can give away. Give Rufus. Uh, maybe we don't want to give him anything. Problem is that when your rulers start, when your like second tier vassals start getting too powerful, you become a bit of a threat. Is Duke, Duke Gonzalo of Mercia is not part of our kingdom, is he? Duke Sank of Barcelona. It's a bit confusing. Oh, how, how weird. I thought the other guy was ruler. This is the guy who hates us, the other guy who doesn't. Okay. Let's grant him another title. Strengthen him up. We'll give him uh, the county of Pharaoh.
Who should we give Silvers to? Let's give Silvers to our bastard son. I like the way he's using the barony as his main title, apparently. It's a bit amusing. Dempsey's size is still a bit large. What what do we have? I guess we got Barcelona recently. That Valle de Padis. I don't know that one, but I guess we need to give it away. Let's grant him a title. Be able to hand uh, to stand down our forces soon, and then we can uh, go after the last uh, territory. He wants to expel the Genoese uh, traders from our land, Doge of, of Venice. I don't know. The Genoese look pretty strong, Venice. We don't want to get involved in any sort of mer merchant spat. Barcelona is pretty good. Maybe Jacker is the one we want to get rid of. Alto Aragon. We need to keep a place in each of the kingdoms, really. That we have got. Uh, Barcelona. Zamora we probably don't need. We've had it for a very long time and have upgraded it. Maybe a few more upgrades for our, our capital. Nice training ground. Could improve this place. Give us more men. I think we should. Give away some more to someone. I have to think about that. I think it's probably worth it. The Pope's dead, a new Pope is Pope. But you know, not much really changes. Let's see what it takes to get our new title. This is what we really want. How much would we need? Oh, probably two more, unfortunately. So not quite enough. Oh, Duke Craig might finish off the, the war for us. Will our heir prove his uh, his worth? About to find out. We could give him a bit more money, just in case he's help they are helped by the Almoravids. I don't want to do any of these embargoes. Planning a special occasion with my lover, but my wife is quite insistent on alternate plans. I think I should probably spend time with my wife. That's good, I guess. It's progress in military stats as well. So I guess God smiled upon my improved behaviour. I quite want this island back off of uh, Venice, but probably can't face them in a straight war. Probably fabulously wealthy. He 
He has got quite a big army, Duke, Duke Craig. I didn't realise it was that big. Who's my most pa total strength? Oh, I must be half mercenaries then. There we go. Our heir, Duke Craig, has united uh, Spain back under Christendom. Would we be able to do the claim on this? We could just fly in with a quick claim. But yeah, I think we'll avoid that. Unless you guys want to see me uh, conquer the rest of Spain, maybe invade uh, Africa or campaign somewhere else. We'll, we'll call it an end there. Leon, success. Reconquest of Spain. Completed uh, almost 300 years early. Well, maybe I'm exaggerating. But yeah, cool.